Hello everyone! So today I'm doing a romantic spring wedding makeup look. Um, spring is a really popular time for people to get married because of the fact that it's really nice weather most of the time, depending on what area you live in, and the flowers are starting to bloom and the trees are getting their leaves, and it's just a generally nice time of year for the most part. So for this look, I'm kind of taking inspiration from spring colors and spring weather and flowers just to create a rosy soft look that's perfect for any wedding day. Okay, so again, it's a really like romantic soft look inspired by flowers in springtime. So I'm gonna start by doing really light eyeliner on my bottom lash line. Um, I am using the same eyeliner I usually use, which is LA Colors Auto Eyeliner. It's just a pencil eyeliner, and I like pencil eyeliner because you can smudge it, and you can do what you want to soften the look, and it doesn't have to be too harsh like liquid eyeliner sometimes is. So I'm going to start by applying this to both water lines. So since I used black, and black tends to be a little bit harsh, I'm just going to take my finger, or you can also use a liner brush, and just kind of smudge it out a little bit so that it softens. Smudging it out so it stays there is just a good way to like soften it so it's not too harsh of a line. Um, so I'm going to start using my palette. And I have all this nice little row of pinks. So I'm going to be using this row, and then I'm going to use a couple of the colors in the last row. I'm just going to hold it back here so you guys can actually see what I'm pointing to. Yeah. So I'm going to be using this pink row, and then I'm going to be using a couple of these colors here. Again, it's inspired by flowers, so I figured, like, really light pinks are a nice option for that. Taking my flat brush, I am going to start by using a dusty rose color on my eyelid, which is going to be this one right here. So, you can't really see that color on my eyelid, and that's okay, because it's going to be a soft, like, sort of natural romantic look. Um, I will add a darker color in the corner, which is going to be the one right above it, which is a sort of darker dusty rose. It's that color. I'm going to put it on the inner corner on both of my eyelids. Okay, so now that I have that on the corner of my eyelid, in the crease I'm going to be using this, like, darker pink color. It's not as dark as it looks on this camera because the lighting's just really weird in here right now for some reason. It's sort of like a typical Valentine's Day pink color. I'm going to apply that using an angled brush to the crease of my eyelid. It adds a nice little pop of a brighter color to your eyelids without being too overwhelming. And so before I move on to, to do the highlight, I'm going to blend it so that I don't end up blending too much. I'm just going to blend it by tapping lightly because, again, I don't want to, like, get rid of the color. I just want to mix them all together so that it's a more cohesive look rather than having, like, a harsh line of brighter color. So in case you can't tell what I'm doing, this is how I'm blending. I'm just lightly tapping the brush against where I have the eyeshadow. And so that blends it out nicely. Okay. And then once again, using the angled brush, 
I'm just going to do a really like light pink highlight. And so the color I'm using for that is this one right here. It's like a pinkish white. And so I'm just going to apply that up to the brow bone. And on, well, on the brow bone up to my eyebrow. And once again, taking my fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that by tapping. And so it's just sort of a really nice little, like, light pink, spring colors, kind of like the color of roses. And it just looks really romantic and soft and pretty, and you could even do this for Valentine's Day if you wanted to. Um, it's nothing stopping you from doing it any day that you want to. Um, but it's just like a more romantic colored look, so I think that Valentine's Day or a spring wedding or even a winter wedding would be a really good time to use this color scheme. Um, you could use it any time of the year for a wedding if, like, your flowers were going to be these colors because it would be a nice sort of, like, way to add your colors to your makeup look. And then, since it is a more soft romantic look, I'm not going to use any liquid eyeliner on my top lash line. I'm actually going to be taking this brown right here and a liner brush and just lightly lining my upper lash line. Um, if you have a really powdery eyeshadow that kind of tends to go all over the place, dipping your liner brush in water before you tap it into the eyeshadow is a really good way to make a like smooth line or using a gel liner works too, but again I'm trying to keep it a really soft look. And then again Using my fluffy brush, I'm just going to tap it really lightly to make sure it doesn't look too harsh. Next, I'm going to put a light coat of mascara over my eyelashes. I'm using Maybelline Mega Plush because it has a really nice, soft feeling to it, and it's a much more natural feel than a lot of mascaras have. Plus, it, I really, really like the little thing that comes with it because this is a really nice little mascara wand. So I'm just going underneath my eyelashes from the bottom up to the tips. Okay. So next I'm going to move on to my face. I am once again using Naked Skin by Urban Decay in shade 3.5 because I don't want to have like really heavy foundation on. Um, so I'm just going to put this on a cosmetic wedge from Target. You can get them really cheap um, if you don't have like beauty blenders and all of that stuff because those can be expensive. And if you're not really the kind of person who does makeup a lot, you might want something that's a little bit more budget friendly. Um, they just look like this, they're just little triangles. And you just put the foundation onto it. And then rub it onto your face. Um, I'm gonna start with my cheeks. And go outwards. Whenever you're applying any kind of foundation, you should always make your strokes outwards rather than in so that it doesn't all like stick to like the area around your nose or your lips. Go out because it blends better. So now that that's done, I'm going to be taking my BB cream and using that as cover up on my acne. Okay, and now is when you would start to contour if you're going to contour 
And if you're not planning on contouring, you can add a powder foundation on top just to like set everything in place. Only add it lightly and be really careful opening it because they tend to explode everywhere. For example, I just got it all over my computer because there's that much of it that comes out the top. And using a really fluffy foundation brush or blush brush, just tap it onto the powder. And then using the lid, tap off the excess so that you don't end up with like powdery chunks on your face. Makeup can be a really messy process, so don't start doing this after you have your dress on, or you could end up with your perfect gorgeous white or ivory dress being stained with foundation and blush, and you just don't want that. Okay, so after this, take your blush and just very lightly apply it to your cheeks so that you have a nice little light romantic blush, but nothing like too excessive. Because blush is really pretty, but you don't want it to be all over your face, and you don't want it to look like you're wearing clown makeup or you're sweating, so you just really lightly apply it. And to finish this look off, I'm going to be using a rose-colored lipstick. It looks really dark in this lighting, but it's actually a really light color. Um, this is Roma London in Rose Blush. And this is a good time to like take a tissue and just kind of blot out the lipstick so that it's not so harsh if you want to. but. You don't have to do that, it's completely up to you, but... This is the finished look. And it's just a sort of really sweet look for your wedding day, and... It's just another way you can add to your color scheme if you're using like pinks and flower colors, and it's really good for whatever you want to use it for, for your wedding. It doesn't matter if it goes with your theme, if you just really like what this looks like, go ahead and use it. It's a sort of like... classic wedding look that's not too overdone. And yeah. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope you found some inspiration for your wedding day.